And I'm back with another video. So I put one little family rant video, you know, create your own reality video, video up and stuff gets real crazy in the meantime. So Trump is broke. He doesn't have what he now needs, which is $455 million. He needs to put that up in New York to be able to appeal paying the $455 million. Problem, he's broke. He's broke, plain and simple. Child, he tried to put his bond to be able to appeal the case on layaway. He said, I ain't got the money, I can put something on it. I can put $100 million on it. Oh, I'm going to have to sell property. Well, sell your property. <laughs> sell your property. Ingrind is not giving any sympathy to this fool. None. That's the problem right there. Every time he effed up, somebody came to bail him out. Not this time. Not this time. You better get your, your money up because it's going to be properties for sale for this fool. Point blank and simple. Yeah. Thought he was a billionaire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Billionaire what? Goes with the lies. And even if, say, he didn't say that, he let people, he allowed people to believe that at any time, he could have said, that's not what I'm worth. Never did. So SCOTUS is supposed to hear now, I think it's the end of April, if Trump has presidential immunity. Be for real. Be for real. Be for real. Okay. Why don't y'all do that Colorado thing first? Because this is ridiculous. From what I'm seeing, this will not go well for him. No one is going to be able to have presidential immunity. Him, Biden, and nobody else. No. They already have personal beliefs on where this, this stands. Okay? They're very committed, I keep trying to tell you, to stand in the, the same direction that the Constitution was written when it was written. And that wasn't written into the Constitution. So they're not about to start nothing new. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're going to work on it. They are going to work on it. In a way, uh, this will be a good thing for them because it will help lead the country in a different direction. I keep saying that. But in the end, uh, this will be a bad move for him. This will be a bad move for him in the sense that that answer will be a no. Let's don't play with it, Supreme Court. Let's go ahead and take care of that Colorado and get him off of these ballots. That's what is really important. So, Mitch McConnell is leaving. Man, we don't salute you. Let's talk about some of his high and low points. Well, you tried to block Obama on the Supreme Court selection, right? Uh, I think that was uh, Mayor Garland he was trying to put on the Supreme Court, which is a better place for him anyways because he's so slow with things, deliberate and intentional, which on the Supreme Court is wonderful, but being in DOJ and supposed to be more in action, kind of not. Um, he led Trump just like a, a, a bull with a ring in his nose to pick the people he wanted to have picked and put on the Supreme Court. That was all Mitch McConnell doing that. That was not Trump. And then when uh, Trump got impeached, it was Mitch McConnell who led the acquittal of him, which ultimately led to the January 6th insurrection. Because had he gotten impeached, not just in, in word, but in actually removal from office, this wouldn't have happened. This land on you. Even though now you're trying to claim that, you know, you shouldn't have done that or you apologize. That's a little bit too late. That's a little bit too late. That's like somebody took stole my car, wrecked it, killed 30 people, and now we in court and you apologizing to me. Like, no, you should, you should not have taken my car. Point blank and simple. Mm -mm. You got your wife on the cabinet to find a she had the sense enough to walk away from the mess when it got real crazy at the end with Trump. But you didn't go with her. Now, here you are. I'm going to tell you what happened to you. In your many fadings out, in your resting moments, in your sleep, that, that line between I'm dreaming and I'm woke, you had visitations. 
Yes, you did. You had visitations. I know you did. That made you decide, oh no, what I've done is inappropriate. You're talking about you want to stay. You still got gas left in the tank, baby. Mm -mm. The check engine light is chicken food. That's the check engine light. It's not your, your oil is low. Check engine light is going off and it's going to stop on you. I promise you. Before November rolls around, it's going to stop. Because you can't stop. You can't stop. It's this desire to control and to make sure that the best of the best goes to only certain people in this world. Yourself and many like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a visitation. Somebody told you you better clean your act up. Somebody came and visited from your deep past. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you had a wake up call. Stop playing with it. Mm -mm. Y'all out here wilding and clowning and we're supposed to feel a way about it. You should have been gone. What do you mean? The many times that we have seen you stand up frozen, frozen in mid-speech, that should have been enough right there. You should have like taped yourself and, and said, oh no, this is something's not right. Let me stop. But you're going to come out and give a slurred speech, slow motion, farewell. <laughs> You should have been gone. Your problem is, is that not only are, is your check engine light clicking and you seeing it or not seeing it and trying to ignore it because that's what you do and you still want to drive 120 miles an hour until that sucker dies out, if you know what I mean, because there won't be nothing left. The MAGAs have taken over so much from that Republican Party. That Republican Party is fractured to no end and you are part of it. You are part of it. If you were the leader of the Republican Party, when did the leadership come in? Leadership does not mean I'm going to take control and I'm going to mess over everybody involved to get what I want for my party. You are about party and not about people. I don't know who in your state kept electing you. Uh... I'm not going to say it's the boomers. I'm going to go with the forgotten generation. That one. That silent generation. That one that wants things the way they want them regardless. Yeah, that's you. And then here come your buddy. She just as bad. She stood up, and this is Lauren Bobert, and did several texts or tweets or whatever on the Biden crime family the Biden crime family. Even though your strongest witness to everything that Hunter and President Biden supposedly did was a Russian spy, that part, instead of saying, let me rethink this, don't let me say this, this is, this is not appropriate, I shouldn't be throwing stones, my life ain't right. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Instead, you did just that. You threw stones at a family that is doing nothing but their best, the president, to make this country something. You don't even have a real reason why you don't like him. You can't give a reason why. You'll repeat Fox News talking points or Marjorie's talking points or Getz talking points, but you can't speak on your own to say this is the reason why. But you said it, the Biden crime family. Four hours later, your child is arrested. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at you. Mm -hmm. Because 2024 karma is real. If you don't believe in karma, keep playing with it. Your son arrested for influencing a minor, uh, breaking into cars, some financial crimes. Camilla have it listed up and you can see Everything your child had. Y'all going to have a Christmas card. A family portrait Christmas card. It's going to be all mug shots of all of y'all. You so busy talking about what some other family is or is not doing. You're not even watching your own family. You so busy over in that 4th district being laughed out of there. 
with cowboy skirts and cowboy hats on and trying to pretend to be somebody you're not because that's the best thing that you do is pretend you don't know anything else. You put on a show. Mm -hmm. All the while, your family is crumbling at your feet. You, with your criminal behavior, we know about your spouse and his behavior, the abuse, firearms, child is out of control, and here you are, name calling somebody else's family. Hunter could have did all the stuff that you said, but he is not in office. Just like your child isn't. But I'm telling you what he wasn't doing. He wasn't a stick up kid. He wasn't a bank robber. Uh, he wasn't messing with any cartels. <laughs> he wasn't. Mm -mm. He was doing what a lot of men do. He was on the internet looking at uh, some sex sexy sights. Let's be real. He was doing that. But I don't, I don't care to know about that. I don't care to know about what somebody's doing in their bedroom. Yeah. He wasn't at the bowl now. I can tell you that. Exposing himself to anybody. He ain't standing up nowhere calling nobody out their name or making a judgment on them. I just want to take a quick look at you. You're a sad, sad case. Could you have been better? Sure. Had you had educated yourself, people refuse to educate themselves. They'd rather go off of what everybody else say and jump on some bandwagon and talk mess about others when their life is so dirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the Bible say? Don't worry about the board and somebody else's eye when you got the speck in your own. Yeah. What about throwing stones in glass houses? Yeah. You sitting up in a whole play um, doing carpal tunnel moves in the play, vaping, loud, obnoxious. Because you think that you on TikTok or YouTube and you acting up. Mm -hmm. Acting up and acting out. As usual, hoping to get in. Hoping to get good news in this new district. Hoping to get in. BSing people with all the stuff that you're going to do and what you're going to not do. And how you're going to block this one and that one and the third. And ain't going to do jack. All they got to do is watch a couple of videos of you when you're in those meetings and see how inept you are. But, of course, the tower is falling around you as usual. As usual. Yeah. I don't feel like they're going to support you there in that 4th District. I just don't feel it. I feel you'll end up having to walk away. You'll have no choice but... And you know what, to be honest, if you could be honest with yourself, and that's something that you struggle with, is this desire for power and money and fame versus being able to really run your district appropriately. If you really were about the people, you would walk away anyways. Because you need all that time to work on that mess at the house. You do. Because you finna have many court appearances to go for your child. Maybe he'll get locked up for a little while anyways. You need some therapy for your family, hon. You don't need to be in office running nothing. Mm -mm. You've run your mouth so much that you have dug a ditch for yourself. But they say, when you dig one grave for somebody, you better dig two, sis. That's your situation. You better dig too, because you are falling in. Mitch McConnell, goodbye. Point blank and simple. I know we got some time, but goodbye. Because you won't be to the forefront anyways. SCOTUS, I'm ashamed to think that this is what you're looking at. Presidential immunity, when you should have denied that case like many others that you have denied coming across 
your desks over a course of time, not just this group of people, but many of them, that this is nonsense. Trump, you're broke. We've been known that. People that people that know what they know, we've been known you. Child, since the 80s, you've been broke. Only thing happening was daddy was rescuing you. Now daddy won't rescue you and other banks and this and that don't want to work with you because you're a mess. What happened to them tennis shoes you were selling? Or NFTs or whatever else. Come to find out that interest is jumping on that money so fast you can't make enough money to cover even a bond to appeal. Yeah. So anybody got any extra money? Uh, there's some mansions and buildings and things coming up for sale real quick. Anyways, y'all be safe out there.